Arthur Mamboldo, one of my favorite artists, he painted in the late 1500s and was really ahead of his time with what he was doing. At the time, he was probably not a well-known artist because of some of the very imaginative things that he came up with. So I challenge you to look at his artwork and see for yourself what an inventive man he was. Now, we're going to do an exercise today kind of based on what he was doing. To get started, you're going to fold your paper into four sections. So you're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again so that you have four drawing sections that you can do this exercise in. So, you're going to need subject matter. Usually for this particular exercise, I use a dog bone just because they're fun. Um, and I had a classroom set that I could pass out to everybody to look at. All right? So, dog bone. If you have one, great. If you don't, I think a pair of scissors will work also just fine. You want something that's simple but has some shape and interesting things going on with it so that it makes sense, right? So here's the challenge. In the first box, just for practice and to get yourself acclimatized to what that dog bone looks like, I want you to draw the dog bone for real. All right, so that would be box one. We'll draw it for real. I'm not going to draw it here because this is your exercise, right? So we'll put it right here. For the next three exercises, I want you to take that dog bone and I want you to draw it so that it becomes something else. Wow. I'm going to draw here, and I'm going to be drawing kind of upside down, so hopefully you'll be able to see. And I'm not going to do a whole lot on making this dog bone look really realistic, but, you know, this will give you an example of what I'm talking about, right? Upside down. Now that's a challenge. That should be another exercise, right? Actually, there is a, an exercise where you take your what you're drawing from and you turn it upside down and draw from it that way. All right. So I've got a dog bone here. I want to turn it into something else. Ooh, what should it be? <laughs> right. <laughs> so here would be my answer to that. And again, it is quite the challenge to draw it upside down, but I think you'll see where I'm going with this pretty quickly, right? And because I'm drawing upside down, da, da, da. So it's all about the imagination and not necessarily the drawing itself. It's what can you think of? What can you do that would be creative? and different. So, your turn.